Hi, Kelly. Hi, Jesse. How are you? Good. How are you doing this morning? Great. All right, everyone. Well, hey again, and uh, Kelly and I are going to walk through one of the enhancements that you'll see in the 1705 release. For those of you who use the system preference auto mem num, um, this allows you to calculate the next available card number um, in the system. So first, let's go in there and we're going to pull up um, auto mem num and look at that system preference. It's always so funny, Jesse. Some of these system preferences are so long and then this one's really short. Really short, exactly. Um, okay, so what this does is if it's set to do, what it will look for is the next available card number. So for example, if I have 24569, it's gonna look for 24567 as the next available card number. So this is a great feature. When you're creating your patron, it will auto-calculate uh, the next available card number. Now, we ran into the past before 1705. Kelly, tell us a little bit about what happened before that. So as larger libraries had this systems preference set up, then as I'm registering a patron and maybe Jesse next to me is registering a patron, Koha would sometimes assign the same number through this process. So a bug was created in 2011 saying, could we please change the way this is, works that the number is actually saved it was created after you hit save. Um, so now we have the opportunity to create auto member num um, to be displayed after you hit save creating a patron. Nice. So this really ensures if you do have multiple branches and in the coincidence that you open a new patron at the exact same time, um, you won't overwrite each other's work. So this ties into another mandatory field, and that's gonna be your borrow mandatory field. That's where you can set up which fields need to be filled in when you're creating a patron. Now, there is a caveat that ties into this. With auto mem number, when that is turned on, you cannot have card number listed as a mandatory field. If you have it listed as a mandatory field, it won't let you save. So just a reminder, and there's a nice little note here that's listed in the borrow mandatory field, system preference that if you have auto mem turned on just remember you cannot have card number listed here so kelly why don't we go over and we'll take a quick look at what the patron setup looks at now you wouldn't be able to save it if you had that mandatory field so maybe some libraries have experienced that so this is a workaround that you would need to take that borrower mandatory field card number off yeah so this video is a good reminder check your system preferences all 900 of them all 900 all right so let's make a, a quick uh, new patron here uh, let's go with um, how about Parker Peter right that's a good one okay we'll give Peter a quick birthday and now all you had in your system preference Jesse Jesse was surname and first name were mandatory so that's red so we'll just jump right down to the bottom and you'll notice card number, it says immediately, leave blank for auto calculation during the registration. So I don't have any other fields here that are mandatory. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to the top and we'll just quickly hit save. Now in the prior process, Koha would assign that number. Now it's getting assigned once we saved. So you'll notice now we have a card number listed here. Um, it, that auto mem num puts in the next available number, and now Peter Parker has a card number assigned to him. That's great. This is awesome. <laughs> All right. So just a friendly reminder, if you're using auto mem num, check both of your system preferences and make sure that card number is not a mandatory field. Thanks, Jesse. That's, this is awesome. All right, Kelly, thanks. I'll see you next week. Okay, have a great day. Bye.